All right, next one on our little list here. Uh, we're into Nottingham Forest um, against Tottenham. It was Forest nil, Tottenham two goals from Richarlison, Kulusevski. Um, we did see a red card for yeah. Ipasuma later on, Tim, where, you know, you just see him put his, his head in his hands, frustration of a challenge that, I mean, do you, in your experience playing, playing with mm. play, people like that, right? Yeah. And he's not a young player anymore, you no. Suma. Can he learn from that? And can we not see that again from him? Because we've seen a few times now mm. where emotions get a little bit to him. And we all know the type. And, you know, I was, I was, I think I was pretty good at that. There was a lot of things I wasn't very good at, <laughs> but I was pretty good at, in terms of temperament, right? Yeah, and, yeah. and controlling my emotions. It, I mean, this happened a few times now with, with some of the Spurs players. Mm. You know, all about Romero, the most aggressive player in the Premier League for mm. me. Can he, can can this stop at Tottenham now? Can mm. Ange get get to grips with this discipline thing? They don't want anything to do, derail them. That's kind of should be easy fixable. Yeah. Well, I think you, you, we're not going to eradicate it, but but certain players need to get it out of their game. You know, when Ibusuma, there's 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 no place in the game to go strongly and recklessly into a challenge where the ball's on the floor. It's different if the ball's bouncing, but the ball's on the floor. And you go right under the guy's knee with your studs. It's just you know he, he uh, on, on Yates. It's 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 uncalled for. But the discipline part of it, Musty, we saw it with with Tottenham's North London rival Arsenal. They had a horrific disciplinary yeah, record under, under under Mikel Arteta. And I I was one to say, look, he's a former teammate of mine, Arteta. But I said, listen, this begins and ends with the manager. You you tell your players undoubtedly, yeah. everyone stays on the pitch. If, if not, two weeks' wages, I'm going to find you. Yeah. Whatever, you're hurting the team. So it begins and ends with the manager. And Pastor Coglu, who... who well, he I, figured it out, to be fair. Arsenal, yeah. got better. Oh, figured it out. Fantastic. And so when I look at Pastor Coglu, he, 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 doesn't, he doesn't bat an eye in, in the face of adversity. Mm -hmm. and, and, and he lets his players, he gives them free will to press and to make mistakes. That's all fine and well. At a certain point, you have to just bring everything back in, settle everyone down and say, listen... This is, as you mentioned, this is going to hurt us in the long run. We have to get our discipline under control. Mm. But it's a good win. Yeah, great win. It's a great win. And, uh, you know, I think our listeners and viewers know what I feel about Spurs and how fun it is to watch mm -hmm. them play. And mm -hmm. it's like nothing we've Incredible. ever seen before Incredible. in terms of what they do. Of course, with the fullbacks and being as, about as fluid as I think you can yep. be as, in a, as, a, as a football team right now. And I'm going to chuck in my, uh, you know, our little underappreciated. Yeah. We, we chuck in uh, every weekend, Tim. And, um, I don't know. I thought there's quite a few contenders this weekend. This one came uh, early, of course, on the, it was a Friday night game. Um, but Dejan Kulusevski, mm. you know, again, he's a player that's under the radar a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, mostly plays on the right-hand side wide. Swedish midfield player, good age, good physicality. Brought him in, good acquisition. Uh, with that, and Madison being out injured, mm -hmm. he's, he's come inside and played really nicely as a number yeah. 10. And he's, he can do a little bit either now. Sometimes wide, sometimes a number 10 in the central position. Brilliant, brilliant ball in where he yeah. spins in with that left foot for the for Charlatan's first header, scores a second goal as well. And I just think he's one of them that we all give a lot of credit to a lot of these Spurs players and the Madisons and the, I don't know, everybody else, Sean Wins, Son, et cetera, et cetera. But I think he's just a, a, yeah. a blimmin' good player, works hard, he's aggressive enough. I like the way he speaks afterwards. We, we listened to an interview him afterwards. And the quality he's got in attacking areas is, is gold. And yeah. Richarlison's loving that. And if he gets balls like that every week, Tim, he's yeah. going to be scoring a lot more goals. So I just want to give a, sh a, sh a shout out to Kulusevski and uh, his impact to, to Tottenham. Yeah, you he, like him? He's been, he's been for me. And I think the underappreciated part comes when he first came on loan, he mm. was just lights out, wasn't he? He was fantastic. You think, wow, this guy's direct, he's sharp, he comes inside the left foot. Came, came a little bit off the boil mm. last year, yeah, I think. He did. And that's yeah, why he did. When, when you start to see the best of him, you think, wow, that's, that's it's it. a special, mm. special left footed player. He's got mm. a lot of talent, a lot to give. Mm. Absolutely. Just a quick line on Nottingham Forest. I know there's, there's uh, Steve Cooper is under pressure and stuff. And, and where are they right now, Tim? We look at our table. And, mm. Yeah, fourth bottom. Yep. Fourth bottom yep. now. So just one spot from, from Luton Town. They have got a five-point gap. Luton will, will probably, we don't know for sure yet, we'll get into that game a little later, uh, have a game to mm -hmm. play, possibly. Mm -hmm. um, Steve Cooper, do you think, I, I think, I think, that you would keep him on, yeah. But probably more pertinent is the is the owner at that club, mm -hmm. who seems erratic. <laughs> hasn't done anything too erratic in right. terms of managers, but right. is he gonna gonna do anything crazy in the next well, couple well, of weeks? Well, my line on Forrest is this: It seems like every every time they get a good result, he's not under pressure, and every time they get a bad result, yeah, he is. That's just not a it's not a great great place to be. Mm. What I would say is, look, in any ownership group, when you spend the money and they have spent the money, whether it's wisely or not, is is, is not in question. 
you can you have the right to say my team should be in the top five or top ten or whatever his expectations are, right? Because mm-hmm. you're the owner. Um, from my end, Steve Cooper, uh, he's done a very good job with what he's had. Um, he's he's been asked to he's been asked to manage thirty some odd new players. Um, tried to gel those team that team together. The fact of the matter is, when you look at why you'd sack a manager, fans aren't behind you. Well, guess what? Yeah, fans are, are. St- are strongly behind yeah. you. You've lost a dressing room. Guess what? He hasn't lost a dressing room. And secondly, or thirdly, excuse me, he's a really good manager. He really is. And so keep him on. Keep it steady. Allow yourself to, to continue to stay in the Premier League and, and, and climb the table incrementally. It doesn't happen overnight. And even though the, the owner wants it, it doesn't. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. And for even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock. And be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you there.